Good morning. Never realizes that it's actually always open. Yes, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. are officially too long to be front bangs, right? The bangs were definitely fun, but I felt like I didn't style them enough every day to make it worth it. Although they were super cute and styled, for the most part, I just always looked crazy. I'm gonna show you guys my morning skincare routine. Start off by washing your hands. You guys already know. I use a lot of products from Biba. This is the Gentle Cleanser from Biba. Great for sensitive skin. I don't really have acne prone skin, so I can get away with just using like a really simple cleanser. Sometimes I skip this step in the morning if I feel like I didn't produce a lot of oil overnight. If I'm not using that facial cleanser in the morning, I'll either splash my face with cold water or I will use her micellar water. Next up, stealing Phineas's because I just ran out. I miss my face with her hydrating toner. Time for serum. I'm a big fan of the Summer Fridays CC Me Serum. I use like one and a half pumps of this serum and just pat it into the face. Upwards motion. I actually hate going in an upwards motion because it feels so unnatural with my hands. Listen, I do it, but I don't enjoy myself while doing it. I don't always do this step. It's sort of just like an extra thing. And since we're filming it, why not? But I'm going to add some moisturizer underneath my eyes, some eye cream. This is from Visual Changes. Helps firm and smooth lines, reverse and slow aging process, eliminates dark circles, reduces eye puffiness. A little goes a very long way. I'm just putting some product on my ring fingers. Just tapping it under the eyes. Bring it up to the lid if you have any extra. Last, but certainly not least, actually the most important step, sunscreen. I wear SPF every single day. Even if I'm not going outside, you're still hitting sun rays through your car windows, your house windows. I always go in an upwards motion, kind of up and out my forehead. And I go up my nose. This area I tap, and then this area I kind of pull outward on the neck. I will probably end up adding more on my shoulders and chest depending on what I wear. That's my morning routine. Later in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what I do at nighttime because why not? Peach, are you so dead? Truly, this is why we walk her because then she's like this for the next five hours to comment on a few things in relation to my last vlog. The first one being the dietary changes that I've been trying out. Less caffeine, not fully off of caffeine. I've just stopped drinking coffee and now I only drink matcha. I feel like my energy levels are a lot more stable. I definitely don't get crashes as hard as I do when I drink coffee. I've also been eating gluten-free. I will say I cheated a few times, whether it was by accident. I had a toaster waffle that had gluten in it. I had like half a croissant that had gluten in it. On the personal TMI side, she's been way less gassy. <laughs> I don't know if it's placebo or if it's just something else that I happen to not be eating within the last week, but I, I really feel like things are looking up for me. I'm literally blushing from this conversation right now because I don't have my partner with me to be laughing. Like it's, it is very different talking about your farts with your significant other and doing it alone to a camera. The last thing I wanted to discuss, I felt it was my responsibility to bring this up because the second I uploaded it and started doing more research, I was shocked. I felt betrayed. I felt manipulated. I felt lied to and cheated by the marketing of ear candling. It's a hoax. It's a myth. It's a lie. Let me further explain why I like this in a cup. Basically, what you guys saw on the inside of the cones when we did this in our last vlog, apparently that was just the wax from the beeswax that this is made out of. Apparently, it can also be dangerous to do because if any of the melted wax melts and falls into your ear canal, obviously you can probably burn yourself, but then you actually have to like go in and 
have a doctor remove it because otherwise it's just gonna be like blocking your eardrum. Oh, I hate that. Oh my God, this is really smoking. That's not even earwax. Myth busted. Oh, did that wake you up? Did that terrible smell wake you up? She's like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. How freaking cute are these sunglasses? I kid you not. I wore these exact, not this physical exact item, but I wore sunglasses like these so often when I was a little kid. I've been doing a lot of shopping off of Etsy and Depop lately. In general, today's outfit is very much screaming that whole vibe. The ruffly tank, oh, she's so cute. Both of these pieces are from Princess Polly. Thumbs up this video if you guys want me to do like a large try on Depop Etsy fashion haul because I think that'd be really fun. I haven't done like a proper, proper clothing haul in a very long time. I'm also stoked about matching my phone case right now. She's beautiful. I haven't had a clear phone case in so long. I genuinely forgot the color of my iPhone. Thank you case for sponsoring today. They make such cute, such protective phone cases. The phone case that I have on my phone right now, as well as these two, I got a simple black one and then just a completely clear one. These are all part of their military grade drop protection line, collection, whatever you wanna call it. Basically allowing you to have super sleek, stylish phone cases, but having that military grade protection. Better safe than sorry, and you don't need to have a bulky phone case in order to be safe. You can either choose from thousands of different designs or or you can customize a case with the colors and fonts. These minimal cases are engineered with a two layer construction of Chi Tech material. They're drop test approved for up to 6.6 .6 feet. Drop test, we're clear, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> and also despite how sturdy and protective these are, all of the buttons and everything are super easy to press. If you guys want to match with me and get 20% off, just go to casedivide.com slash Claudia Salewski. Obviously I'll have everything linked down below, but I am just a big, big fan and take that discount, baby. I am currently on my period. Would love to eat something sweet right now. I am going to make some homemade cookies. I pulled this recipe last week from Wellness with Soph on Instagram. They were so good. I'm making them again. This time I'm gonna add my own little twist. For the half that's just plain sugar cookie, I am going to mash up some raspberries. So today we'll be making vegan, gluten-free, chocolate raspberry cookies. I pretty much have everything prepared. You want one and a half cups of gluten-free oat flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a cup of sugar, I'm just using organic cane sugar, one third cup of vegan butter or coconut oil, one egg or any sort of egg replacement. I use the meat egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, some sea salt, and then two tablespoons of cacao powder for the chocolate cookies. And then obviously I'm doing raspberries. With the oat flour, I'm going to sprinkle in the baking powder as well as some salt, give it a little stir. The coconut oil is supposed to be melted and it's so hot in our house that it's already melted in the jar. You're supposed to cream the sugar and coconut oil together, but I don't really feel like using my electronic mixing bowl. You know what? I bet the butter would be better for this then. I bet it would actually cream if I used vegan butter. The egg replacement, one tablespoon of the mixture and two tablespoons of water. I had just enough vanilla extract. I just washed my hands. Now we're just going to combine the wet and dry ingredients. I'm just gonna mix this with my hands. Oh yeah. Look at that. We're good. I'm pressing it down so I can evenly split it down the middle. Let's do the raspberries first. Okay, it's really wet now. I think I need to add more flour. We're gonna cheat a little bit and use some pink food coloring, just a little. A little bit more baking powder. <laughs> it's definitely looking way pinker. We're gonna move on to the chocolate. I'm placing the cookie dough on parchment paper so that I can squeeze it all together and turn it into a log form. All right. This dough is so much stickier. <sighs> I fear this will not work out. 
I probably should have put this in the fridge too. There's so many things that I'm doing wrong right now. Yeah, this has to go in the freezer stat. We're wrapping. This looks crazy. I'm gonna throw this in the freezer and actually be patient and let it harden. It looks like a giant. Oh, the inside is so frozen. So it'll be chocolate in the middle and raspberry on the outside. We're gonna throw these into the oven for 12 minutes. Let's try it. You can totally taste the raspberry. And then the chocolate is just easy done so good. Wow, wow. The raspberry really worked. I think I've had about five of these. I'm gonna stop for now because the presentation is so cute. These are so good. <laughs> Night skin routine. We got a little, a little boo-boo today. The first thing I do when I am prepping my skin for my nighttime routine is I like to cleanse it twice. The first step is just to get off any sort of makeup that I have. I don't really have any makeup on right now. The dirt, the oil, the things that just, you know, land on your face throughout the day. I'm gonna take a little cotton round, Biba micellar water, and we're just going to wipe this all over the face. Headband. Going back in with Biba's gentle cleanser to make sure everything is off. We're cleansed. Hydrating toner. <laughs> I'm such a mess. I'm out of my serum. I'm out of my night serum. I am. I use this serum and I love it, but I'm currently out of it right now, so I need to order it. I'm just gonna skip to the next step. It's not like my routine is that crazy anyways, but I'm finishing off with, yet again, another Viva product. This is her uh, cream barrier. It's an ultimate facial hydration. This cream is so thick and so hydrating. Sometimes I'll use like a lighter, moisturizer if I'm lazy and I don't feel like dealing with this but if I'm really going all out and for the most part I do use this cream but it is just oh it smells so good it makes your skin feel reborn the next morning now that we're all greased up that's pretty much all that I do at nighttime like I said I use the serum but we're out I'm happy with this routine I've been doing it for almost a year now I think oh, I'm sweating are you laughing at me I'm sweating. It's so hot in this house. I love you, baby. I love you too. I love you guys. Thank you for watching today's video. I'm gonna go to sleep and cuddle with my boyfriend and my dog. So cute. Bye.